Hey you guys, I'm really excited to share that I'm working with a new company. I'm partnering with the company Andinstar and they create digital microscopes. They're a really cool company. Be sure to check them out at andonstar.com. That's A-N-D-O-N-S-T-A-R.com. And again, they make these really cool digital microscopes. So I actually, it's an interesting story. I have really bad eyes. And so when I'm growing my cannabis and I get to the final stages, and you have to check the trichome color. I have a digital microscope, uh, you know, a cheap one off of Amazon that costs uh, 30, 40 bucks, something like that. Um, so not super cheap, but still not a, not a great one um, by any means. I struggle with it, even though I can get decent pictures, I never can get them clear. I can never focus, my hands are always too wobbly. And then at the end of the day, I just struggle. I'm always sending pictures to my friends or my brothers and asking, hey, is this ready? So I was scrolling through Amazon one day and Andinstar was featured um, as, you know, one of the products. I saw their digital microscopes. So I reached out and just kind of told them what I did and that I was interested. We communicated over the last couple of months and then uh, having a need and asked me to showcase a couple of their microscopes. So big shout out to my friends, uh, Tracy and and others at Andinstar. Thank you for sending these to me and thank you for sponsoring this video and a couple others that I'm gonna do. So today I'm featuring this digital microscope. This is an AD112 and you can find the link for this uh, in the description below. I'm gonna link it to a, uh, an Amazon link so you can buy this. I believe this goes for $49.99, but um, I think it's actually on sale for quite a bit right now. So be sure to check it out. Um, the link is in the description below again. But this is the AD112, AD as in uh, the letters, A as in Apple, D as in dog, 112, 112. So it's not AD112, it's the AD the letters 112 digital microscope and you know you might think the name is is complicated but they have a ton of microscopes it's really impressive how many they have so i have this handheld one and then the other one um i can actually show you real quick this guy is the mondo so this is the 8269s and this one has a big 10 inch screen I think it has five different lenses. So this one's a different different caliber than the 8112. This one is handheld. This one you can stick in your pocket, take it out to the garden with you. This one's friendlier for kids. It does have a little screen on it, you can see here. So there is a little uh, screen on this handheld one, which is nice. Just to show you what else is on the box here. You can see it comes with some slides. You can do, you know, just your basic slides, your microscope slides, look at insects, plants, coins, if you're into coin collections. I had a stepdad who was at one time, uh, collected coins and he was always, he had, he didn't have a microscope. He would have loved this, but he had one of those big humongous. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna see what it's like. And then I'm gonna do a different video actually testing it out and using it. This is just an unboxing. Um, so I'm actually not gonna, probably not gonna turn it on today. Um, I think it needs to be charged first. And I'm one of those, I know you don't have to do this anymore. Maybe somebody can bust this myth in the comments for me, but uh, I'm still one of those people. Like, I feel like I have to charge everything before I use it for the first time. So I don't know if that's still the case. I don't think it is with most products is what I've read, but I still get things every now and then that says, you must charge this product before you use it, before you turn it on. So I always get paranoid. I'm gonna kill the battery life when I do that. So this gives you an idea. It's got a nice instruction uh, booklet, it looks like, but you can see the little screen here. I think it's about two inches or so. And it looks like it's even movable, which is nice, but um, it's on like, it looks like a 45 degree angle here. And you can see it's got the little, um, the, now this, this one's a, one that I'm more accustomed to, I guess, uh, this handheld digital microscope. Mine has, my old one has kind of this scroll bar for the focus. And then it doesn't have the buttons or the screen on it though. Mine connects to the computer and it was really wonky. The interface was terrible. But this you can see, oh cool, you can connect it to the computer and use the computer as a second screen if you want. But yeah, nothing, you can take videos, you can record, 
it, one thing I really like about the 8112 is that it is super accessible and you can tell just by the picture, you know what I mean? It's, it's got the spin bar here to focus and then it's got a couple buttons. It's got a power button, an up down button, an okay, and then an M like uh, mode or manual or something. There is a slot for a mini SD card, which we'll take a look at here. And I did not realize this, but it comes with a pretty nice carrying case as well, which for the price, you know, it just adds to the value, which is great. I was wondering, the box didn't say their name at all. I was wondering if they had, uh, you know, their, their name featured. I figured they would, but there you go. And in star, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. I think I got it. All right, moment of truth. You guys ready for this? Here she goes. Whoa, nice. All right. Okay, cool. I like these. So it's got the partition in the middle to kind of section off the microscope from uh, cords and connectors. Looks like it's got um, kind of a base that you can sit this on as well, which is in here. That's nice. Oh, cool. It comes with a mini SD card. Nice. You can get these for fairly cheap now, but just the fact that it comes with everything that you need is really cool. So not only can you take pictures you can and take videos even, you can, you can record them and save them. Comes with some sample slides, that's always cool. So my daughters are gonna love this. So I'm, I'm, I have a, a six-year-old and an eight-year-old, and they're both a little, they'd be okay with me saying this. They're, they're both a little nerdy, you know? They both like science, they both like, uh, they're like me, they like to learn. So I guess they're like their dad, nothing, nothing wrong there. Um, but they're both super smart little girls and they love learning and, uh, yeah, anyways, they I, they have their own like kids microscopes, you know, that um, we've gotten them throughout the years, but uh, they've seen my other digital microscope and they always love seeing it hooked up to the computer. These ones are just like a different level. It's more on their playing field. It's got the screen attached. It's kind of like a handheld device, Nintendo Switch or whatever, you know, a handheld or something like that. But anyways, let's get back to it. My point being just that I think kids are gonna love this a lot. It's gonna be really accessible to them. I'll be testing it out with my daughters to find out for sure. Let's see what we got. We got a pine stem. These are, um, I thought they were plastic. Uh, my daughters have uh, my daughters have a set of, of slides for their microscope, but it's all plastic. They're like these wonky plastic slides. I thought that's what these were for a second. These are real glass slides. Musca domestica compound I. Well, how about this? In my next video, we'll we'll look at these and we'll see. Those are cool to look at too. All right, so we got our slides. We got our mini SD card. If I'm remembering right. Yeah, 32 gig. I don't think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be blurry, but 32 says right on there. It's a decent size. We'll come over to the accessory side. Ooh. <laughs> Again, my daughters will love that little set of tweezers. My, I'll have to show you, show you all one day. Um, my youngest, my six-year-old, started a worm farm. She was out collecting worms one day, or she, by collecting, I mean she found one or two of them under a log. But then she, it was a day after it rained, she just kept finding them and finding them. And before we knew it, she was like, "I have 50 worms," and she had them all in a bucket, and then. Uh, it wasn't a half hour later. She came back in. I, I have over a hundred worms. I'm like, all right, sweetie, just stop there. I think that's enough. We'll keep them for a while. We'll feed them. We'll see if we can get some worm casting. We'll look at some worms under here. <laughs> the tweezers made me think of that because um, I'm missing my daughters, if you can't tell. They're, uh, I think I know what these are, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, they're little... They look like they go on the end of the microscope and so the microscope would attach there, but it's this little like glass container with a lid on there. I guess it's acrylic or plastic or something, but it's almost as if you would put a live bug inside there, attach it to the microscope and then you'd be able to look at it. But otherwise when you have it off, you have the lid closed. Um, but anyways, turn on the microscope, connect the microscope to the computer, select PC camera, start AMCAB software, 
Choose a microscope device, USB camera, and devices. Click option, select video capture pin, and select video output of 128720. Otherwise, the video output may malfunction. Okay, so it does seem like they do have their own software that you have to um, you have to use if you connect it to the computer. No big deal there because it, it does have the screen as well that you can uh, view it from separately. Let's read what it says about charging real quick because that's number one. Please power off the device for charging. It takes approximately two hours to fully charge. Once fully charged, the microscope can remain on standby for 1.5 hours and can be used continuously for about one hour when recording. Wow. One hour recording time. That's actually pretty impressive. Okay. Um, quick start use tips, recording videos, taking pictures, setup, connecting to the computer. So you'll see here, there are three ways to use it. Um, and basically one is holding it on a slant a little bit away from the object. The second is having it completely face down standing upright on the table over top of the object then the third one it comes with this base and the base is meant to raise it up above the object so you have some distance there uh, which is nice especially for bigger objects but i'm wondering if that's where these come into play i wonder if these are just to um, put your specimens in while it's on the base it's just that lid throws me off you know I don't know. What are you up to, Andon Star? What are you thinking with that? It's pretty cool. All right, moment of truth. Let's see. What, oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not true. We got one more thing. It just blends in. Oh, shit skis. I, I, don't, I didn't realize I was going so long, guys. I'm sorry. I'm talking way too much, but we only got three minutes of recording time left, so I got to speed this up. Here is the base. You can put it on. So you put your object in there. I'm guessing you actually put the, oh, no, it doesn't fit. I was wrong. The microscope goes in there. The slides, I thought the slides might slide in, but no, they don't. It just sits right on top of there. And now the moment of truth. Let's look at what we've all been waiting for, the microscope. And I'm not gonna turn it on, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm too scared. I'm scared about the battery. Ooh, look at that, that's cool. Yeah, the top screen does move, which I didn't realize it was going to do. Very cool. Um, the microscope itself. Oh, cool. I thought it had like a cap over it, but it's just got this protective covering, which is kind of nice. And only the very, very center is open. Unless you're supposed to pop that off. And I don't think you are. So that's very cool. Nice, big, adjustable uh, focus. I don't know what you call it here, spinny knob. I like how big that is because you can really hit it from anywhere, no matter how you're holding this and you can you can adjust it. Just because one thing with this, you have to adjust it just very mildly, very slightly. And, and the bigger this is, the more uh, leverage you have to just adjust it just a little, little bit. These buttons are accessible. So as you're holding this and focusing, you can hit these buttons. On the screen, you can adjust it right to where you need it to. Man, I love that. This is gonna be really cool. It sits down perfectly flat, which would be cool. I can take a little piece of cannabis, put it right on the table, look at my screen, put it on the base if I need to, to hold it upright a little better, give myself a little distance, adjust the screen, just sit back, check out my cannabis, make sure it's done, get ready to cure. Harvest first, I guess. But holy smokes, you guys, this is cool. Be sure to check this out. Be sure to check out this company and their other products is Andinstar. I'll hold up this case so you can see the spelling again. I'll put the link to, this is the AD Apple Dog AD112 handheld microscope. It's Andinstar. I'll put the link in the description below. Be sure to check them out. If you're interested in this, be sure to buy it. It's a great little microscope from what I can tell so far. It gets really good reviews. And I've been really impressed with uh, the folks at Andon Star. They've been great so far. Check them out. Check out the AD112. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Leave me comments. Ask me questions. I try to get back to everybody right away. Uh, if I don't, be sure to hound me and I'll, I'll get back to you. I, I probably just missed your message. Um, but be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys.